Welcome to Amanda's Shakespeare Google Translate, where I take Shakespeare sonnets, put them through 10 different languages according to Google Translate, and then back into English and read you the original and the result. And I'm going to be going in numeric order, so I'm going to start off with the first sonnet um, according to Shakespeare's hyphen sonnets.com. The link to that will be below or to the side or wherever I stick anything. First Shakespeare's Sonnet. From fairest creatures we desire increase, that thereby beauty's rose might never die. But as the riper should by time decease, his tender air might bear his memory. But thou, contracted to thine own bright eyes, feeds thy light's flame with self-substantial fuel. Making a famine where abundance lies, thyself thy foe, to thy sweet self too cruel. Thou that art now the world's fresh ornament, and only herald to the gaudy spring, within thine own bud buriest thy content, and tender churl, makest waste in niggarding, pity the world, or else this glutton be to eat the world's dew by the grave and thee. So I went ahead and had my Echo Show pick a random number between 1 and 103. That's how many languages are available in uh, Google Translate. And the first one that came up was Khmer. So I will have the what it came up. I have no idea how to pronounce it. I'm not even going to try because I don't want to insult the language. And then I took the Khmer translation, put it into the, the Google starting translate, and my echo selected Hindi for the second translation. As you can see, once again, not going to try. I'm not even going to try on any of these because I don't feel up to it yet. Um, I might try in later videos um, or have it speak it for us and we'll see what happens. But I honestly have no idea what these actually say. So after Hindi, we got Yiddish, which I didn't realize. I thought Yiddish was just bastardized Hebrew, um, but apparently it's the language of the Ashkenazi Jews, and it's the actual language of the Ashkenazi Jews, and I thought that was really cool. So here, here we are with Yiddish. And then from Yiddish, we went to Myanmar, uh, the language of what used to be known as Burma and is now Myanmar. And if I mispronounce that name, I do sincerely apologize. The special characters didn't copy over uh, from from Google to, uh, I'm using OpenOffice to, to track all the translations. So, but it did copy the characters from the one Google Translate window to the other Google Translate window, you know, from, from, the, from the result to the, to the source screen. So that, that helped. Um, and this is another language that I do not feel confident attempting. Um, then from Myanmar we went to Portuguese, the language of Portugal. Uh, uh, from Portuguese we went to Maltese, and from Maltese we went to Chinese. I went with, I had the selection between simplified and traditional, and so I went with traditional because I figured it would be more entertaining, and I like tradition. What can I say? From there we went to Galician, uh, which is primarily spoken in a small area of Spain. That's why the, the Spanish flag is shown. And then to Hausa, uh, which is the primary language, which is a primary language of Nigeria. 
or it's primarily spoken in my Nigeria and uh, several African nations. Um, it looks like it sounds beautiful, but I'm one of those weirdos that I haven't found an unpleasant language yet when it's spoken fluently. Just read me the phone book and I'll be happy. Um, and then from Hausa, it selected Zulu, uh, which was number 103. And after that, I put it back to English. Smart creatures, we're growing. This beautiful flower will die endlessly, but being a shooter would be a waste of time. The local mayor may remember, but lower your eyes. Set them on fire. It causes hunger in many places. Pride is still in your love. You are in the world of technology, new jewelry. Such a beautiful spring comes from the sun in the spring. The content is the best for your products. Worry and unnecessary mess, a friendly world. Graves and food. Thank you.